What's up, y'all? It's your boy Goggles back with another video. Hey, do me a favor and please hit this button. I'm sorry, hit this button. <laughs> uh, actually, below. It's, it's a button below. And then hit this button next, right beside it to the right. Man, Zach Randolph, what is wrong with you? Cuz, this man got caught selling weed. No, he got caught with some weed with intentions to sell. Uh, is on, you know, right now he's, uh, he could be, it could be convicted and he will be, have a lifetime ban, could receive a lifetime ban from the NBA. So that means if you retire, you're not in the Hall of Fame. I don't believe so. I don't, I don't know what the sentence come with when you get convicted or a lifetime ban. No Hall of Fame, I'm guessing. Commentator on ESPN, in this NBA, uh, game time, NBA, you know, game. All that is gone out the window. Sports center, all that is out the window. Dude, your jersey probably being cut. Anything dealing with NBA is is probably out the window. Dude, using the NBA. Why are you selling weed? You know how much money you're making. Your contract right now. If you, I'm, I'm thinking he get. I'm guessing he got the veteran minimum or maybe a little bit higher. So he may probably make one to five million a year. Zach Randolph is, you know, he's old, but I mean, he can get down and dirty, and he can do what you need him to do the tough work. He would have been great, a great mentor for Skyler this year, and then he could help Kufos out in the post too. Dude, why is you smelling smell weed? You was a clown cake. You buffoon. Are you serious, bro? Dude, I don't understand what's wrong. Like, cause you in the NBA, you getting one point one to five million a year, and you gonna sit there and sell, try to sell some weed. That's chump change. That's chump. That's gas money. That all. Oh, that's gas money, dude. Are you serious? You gonna go out and sit there and sell some weed? About to receive a lifetime ban if you get convicted. And then the, the sad part is the Kings, they sit there and sign a contract with you. Just so you can go to, come to L.A. and try to sell some weed. What you thought it was? <laughs> a cupcake party? Golly, man. I don't understand. He's so stupid. He's so dumb. Like, what is wrong with you? I just want to know what going through his mind when he just has some weed in the car. Why he get stopped? That's one thing I want to know. I hope you didn't get drug, basically drug busted, where they just they just was nice about it and didn't say that he got busted, but that he just got caught with some weed. Like, it's stupid. It's just that it's so dumb. Like I don't understand. You throw your you throw your whole career away for some weed that you gonna sell, and you in the NBA making one million a year at least, one to five million a year, and more probably more than that. His last contract probably uh, ten million. Five to ten million a year. Now you, you mean you probably gonna make the veteran minimum, maybe a little bit more than that because you're getting old and you're about to retire. But that's stupid. I don't understand what you, what was going through his mind when he thought about what he was doing. Uh, but you know, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Like I said, do me a favor and subscribe and like, and I will catch y'all later. The good thing is that you're getting Carmelo Anthony. The bad thing is, who are you giving up for Carmelo Anthony? Uh, I, in my opinion, I feel like the the main thing, the number one priority in getting Carmelo Anthony, you better not give up Nurkic. 